Season five, let's do it. Hey, that's the spirit. I don't need to do a clap intro for that, do I? No. Well, uh, we made it as far. This is the uh, last, what I call, classic season of Are You Afraid of the Dark before we go, go off here for a bit and become a brand new cast uh, plus Tucker. Wait, so what year did it come back? 99? Yeah, uh, season six and seven or 99 and 2000. Okay. Th this uh, Dead Man's Float premiered, according to Wikipedia, on October 7th. 1995. Uh, the funny thing is, the next episode, Jay decide it says November 4th, 1995. So, what the fuck happened for Halloween? <laughs> they just it, get rid of the show for a it's, bit. The, it's the same thing, man. Like, they their Halloween episode had nothing to do with Halloween. It, like, the one that came out in October, what, what was it, Prom Queen or oh, Dream something Girl? Like that. You know, we've only had like, uh, what was it, one or two episodes of actual Halloween, The Midnight Ride, and The uh, Twisted Claw. And they didn't come out in Halloween. <sighs> yeah, of course. So maybe that happened in Canada. Maybe. Actually, how do you feel about this season? I think it's been pretty good, mostly. Some of them have been a little wonky. We've only seen three. But no. Hold on. This is the that, this right. is the first one. This yeah, is, we're oh, all well, season you five. Know I can't keep track of that. Stuff. This is we're episode so one of season five. Oh well, then it was it's great so far. I thought it was a pretty good episode. Excellent. Yeah, Dead Man's Float was one of the most memorable episodes for me. I remember it being one of my favorites growing oh, up. Oh, absolutely. Uh, there there are a few things in here that we got to dissect uh, as always though. Episode starts with Gary explaining that he has mixed feelings, and he's just like, "Oh yeah, Frank moved." Oh, yeah. yeah. No more you Frank. Had, you had your character says season one. Oh, yeah, Frank moved. So Tucker brings in this guy with a bag on his fucking head. They take it off, and apparently everybody knows Stig. And I, I can't remember the episode, like, how they actually know him. As, from, they're all at the same school, because all the, all the Canadian schools now uh, close and Yeah, consolidated. they're all in the same school now. We've already established that now they're all in the same damn school. Yeah, well, Stig knows that they hate him, and apparently he's not a popular guy, but apparently Tucker's his friend. He says, he has a good, about tell a good story what a popular contest. You can tell Tucker hit puberty as well, because his voice changed. He's got a lot taller. Sure. No, you didn't pick up on that? No. I don't <laughs> give a fuck about Tucker. Be best not pay attention to the uh, guys going through puberty either. <laughs> Stig admits that there's a lot of people who don't like who he is, but sometimes things are the way they are for a reason. And basically, if you fuck with shit, you're going to end up in trouble. Or then flash back in time to 1954. Some kid's asking Charlie if everything's okay. He's like, oh, yeah. Kid jumps in. Meanwhile, this guy named Charlie is about to fuck some girl in that office. At least I thought it was going to happen. His sister? Oh, yes, kid's sister. Not, yeah, the, not, not, not Charlie's show. sister. That's yeah. a whole other show right there. Yeah, we already have enough ancestral stuff in Eye for the Dark, so. Well, the kid starts smelling some shit in the pool. <laughs> I couldn't help but think of Caddyshack, man. I was right. or, or, I know you hate the show, Ben, but straight for candy. It's so stupid. Well, it's that, such a fucking that's stupid why it's funny. show. Oh but there's that, there that one fucking episode with the blind kid in the pool, and like their pool looks like shit. <laughs> and at the end of that scene, the principal just yells out, Oh shit, it's another dead body floating around. <laughs> <laughs> you hated Stranger for Candy. Yes, too. I hated it. I love you. I love you. That's why I'm getting married. I yeah, thought it was well, the dumbest was... shit ever. Yeah, it was terrible. Oh, yeah. Well, speaking of Ben's wedding, we're only like, uh, I don't know, four months away from this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so far, I think we have no venue. There's, uh, Do we have a venue? Oh, a sign now? Yeah. No one tells me a thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's no caterer. I've I've got stuff. Yeah, okay. she's got it. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, me and Ben haven't talked about bachelor party or bachelor party yet. We're just combining them. Wait, what? He's got my no one told friend. me that. He's got my best friend in his party. I've got his best friend in mine. Then what the fuck am I supposed to do with this bitch? Uh, I told stripper. you if you want to get a stripper, get a stripper. I don't care. I've seen more than he has. Can, can she do a lap dance on you? In a strip club. On me, sure. Excellent. We're gonna post those photos to our Instagram. By the way, no, Instagram. We're not. <laughs> what, what I'm trying to get likes up there. We've only got up twenty likes on an Instagram in fucking three months. We don't. We don't we'll get, get somebody. Well, we'll get her giving you. A we don't get comments. any comments on uh, on YouTube. So like, I could give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, that being said, I'm putting Ben back in charge of video editing here shortly. We don't edit video. We never have. No. 
it's always about learning new skills. Well, let's kiss some other shit in the pool, and that's gonna be a big theme where where someone basically uh I don't know shit their pants in this pool <laughs> with the stent. Something creeps up from beneath and starts pulling them under. Like it's you don't even see it. Yeah, it's pretty scary. It's invisible. It drowns it, the little yeah. boy. Charlie tries saving him, but in between the saving scene, we're flashback to present day, which is assumed because they never put the fucking year. Yeah, they, they never put, say put present day on 40 there. Forty years later or whatever. Yeah, some kids in a classroom with a, a volcanic eruption uh, going on. I don't know if this is a science fair or some kind of demonstration, a class project maybe. Any guesses? I'm not sure. All right. Well, his name's Zeke Matthews. Zeke. The the, the actor looked familiar. <laughs> Uh, he did, but I couldn't tell you what he's from. Yeah, he was in, uh, I think, I think he still acts today, actually. I, I know he was on a Goosebumps episode, because they actually have a lot in the, this season who who do Goosebumps as well. His name's Kai Eric Erickson. The yeah. name sounds familiar. Yeah, still acts today. Um, I don't recognize any, any of these films. See No Evil 2, The 12 Disasters of Christmas, The 4400. Wasn't 12 Disasters of Christmas, like, that fucking Adam Sandler cartoon. No, that was no, it Crazy did. Nights. Yeah. Oh. oh, he he was a voice actor on that Barricade Ash Olsen in ac- action. And he was also on uh if it was on one episode of the Dead Zone, one episode of Star Trek. Wow. One episode of Saved. And it looks like he was on Boston Public. And I remember watching that shit back in high school. Wow. He played Jerry Peters. Do you remember that character actually? No. Oh, okay. Do you remember Boston Public? I remember the name. <laughs> <laughs> it was also an episode of Home Improvement in Texas, uh, or Walker, Texas Ranger, which I never got into. But No, I loved Walker, Texas Ranger. Right. But I grew up with, like, no cable in Alabama, so. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, how was that life? Did you guys still have the TVs with, like, the UA- uh, HF band on it and stuff? Uh, I had a TV that had a dial on it still for, I was, <laughs> up till I was, like, yeah. 10. <laughs> yeah, that's probably it. Some girl has a crush on him, and this girl looked up. She she no longer acts, but she has a JD, so well, she's a lawyer now. She has a crush on him. I thought he had a crush on her. It's both. There's it's puppy love. They don't know how to express it yet. Uh, but I think they say puppy. This episode is like lost puppy, and yes. one girl makes a joke about it. She offers to help him. The friends are like fuck this, but uh, the the janitor Charlie comes in here to clean up all this stuff. Mm-hmm. It says score was the only thing on Zeke's mind. Yeah, and then we find out Clarice is on the, uh, that's the girl's name, is on the swim team. And then he says he has something interesting to show her. And she just goes with him. Now, Ashley, as a female in high school, some guy said, I have something interesting to show you. What were your first thoughts, eh? It's probably his penis. Go to the stairwell. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like how she calls him Beaker Boy. Yes. Let's go. Uh, that Clarice was also in Mighty Ducks three. See, look at her shining star. Hey, you know we, we forgot to do the shot. Mm. They're they're still right here. We didn't, we didn't forget to do them. We just haven't, haven't done them done. yet. You there got your mommy. I'm a producer. Cheers. I'm a drinker. Yeah, function alcoholics, right? I'm gonna the rest of that, but I like how everybody gave me the Maryland shot glass. <laughs> we got our prides here, Maryland. <laughs> uh, all right, I like this scene here. They go through this what looks like that abandoned locker room from the uh, that yearbook episode. I thought it's called Locker Thirteen. Yes, it's yeah. different lockers, but it's kind of the same vibe. Where there's the crafted locker room, and he just starts pushing this <laughs> locker set back, almost like something from Saved by the Bell. Are we sure it's a different? set maybe they just changed well, actually, just, yeah, they've yeah, look, been notorious for reusing yeah i looked up some trivia about this apparently the exterior shots were the same as the midnight ride so maybe in all your favorite universe we have this high school on the C- uh, canadian and u.s border adam what i don't mean to change the subject but that is the biggest motherfucking old bay can i've ever seen That's in my fucking can. life he's you talking about this and for you non Marylanders, non uh, Mid Atlantic, non East Coast people, Old Bay is a popper seasoning made by McCormick out of Baltimore. It's, a, it's our Maryland pride right here. 
You, we use it on Steam Crafts most of it. People use it on chicken. I probably did clam Popcorn, on soup. Yeah. Cereal. Potatoes. Oh, oh, pretty much everything. Don't do it on cereal. I was kidding. Uh, all right. Now, th <laughs> yeah, this size. Well, this size here is the restaurant style, but we, we keep them. Kayla got them because it's still a tin and they make a plastic they, now. Yeah, they so, usually come yeah. in a thing like. We have four like, of these yeah, at the house, by the way. So we'll, we'll go through them. I usually buy the small one because I don't want to try to fit that in the cabinet. <laughs> Although I, ha I have seen a drink with uh, hoop tea and <laughs> oh, wait, Rim. Uh, I've seen Bloody Mary's uh, with uh -huh. Rim with Obe as well, but I'm not a Bloody mm. Mary fan, so I don't I am. that. No. Mm -hmm. When he pulls this locker back, the door says just to pull. Yes. Usually that's a thing that's like over top of the uh, high school, uh, uh, old high schools, right? Well, see, Adam, we don't have much to go off of when it comes to this shit because our school was Small. the fucking smallest and the it's the poorest in the fucking county. <laughs> In, Poor parts in, of the state almost. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, we didn't have a football team. We I think we've been over this. We didn't mm -hmm. have a football team. Uh yeah, so we didn't get funding for really much of any fucking thing. So we for it to we didn't have a pool. So we didn't have a football team. Man shit. So You know, I was almost hoping that our high school would be like that scene in It's a Wonderful Life where it just comes out of the fucking floor like uh, at Beverly Hills High School. <laughs> that's where they shot that. Uh, but it was actually a fantasy by the way, at school to try to find places in the school that, that were, were forgotten. Oh, a special shout out. I'm doing Forgotten Del Marva now, which is my documentary series where I go in abandoned houses and stuff. We have Instagram and we're active on Facebook. I was just uh, exploring places today and uh, we, we ended up seeing a corpse inside of a broken grave. So that was interesting. I should have been the picture of that. I, yeah. I, unfortunately, I can't show it on social media because I don't want all my accounts. You think it's the first time seeing a dead body? Huh? Well, back to what you were talking about. It was actually a thing at Patapsco in uh, Dundalk where I went. Uh, the new kids, they would tell them to like, find the pool on the second level. But it was a one-story school. I'd open you one. It's... it's but I'm still sour that you didn't open me one. Yeah, they're back on this uh, one drink that I can't mention because we're stopped mentioning alcohol brands. So even though we got the bottles out, but it's a strawberry uh, mixed with something that was pie. You can kind of guess what that was. <laughs> yeah, well, I think I think I was the one that issued you that, wasn't I? Yes. Yeah, because you used to do um, Not Your Father's Ginger Ale. Was that it? Root beer. Yeah, root beer. We used to do that all the time. All right. So when he goes in this two pool. Which house is 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 there a pool in the basement? Is it what it is? Because there's no windows in that fucking room. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. So the the pools in the basement. Obviously, they're above elevation from where you are. Yeah, you can't. How do you hide that big a section of I'm a gonna, school? I, I, I'm going to get to that because there's a sea covered up here. That's that's the one of the plot holes that okay. I catch during a kid. Okay. okay. Now they're in this like decrepit area, and yeah, there's a, a pool that apparently still has water in it. <laughs> It's all green and shit, right? It looks like they had tarps and shit in it. Oh, yeah. It's like a creepy green layer, though. Yeah. Yeah, he says he did some research, found out it was built in the 50s and all used for a short time. Uh, and she complains that they need to open it. And I love the quote she does here, because it's what I, I use all the time with, with everybody in my family and friends and why they hate me. Excuses are only for people who don't get things done. Wow. Right. Uh, is that where you got it, Adam? No, I, I was thinking my mind because I don't uh, like excuses. And you uh, said that's why we hate you. <laughs> why my family and friends hate, usually hate no, me. We're part of that. I was gonna say, do we group. not? <laughs> uh, they, they really hate me for other reasons. <laughs> anyway, all right, here's the plot hole. So Stig on the voiceover says Clarice got the face of everybody at school, and after a few weeks, the swim team got their pool, and this pool was like completely renovated. The fucking room is all all nicely done. So in other words, this this uh, school system has like billions of dollars to just throw out. The it can weeks. be done, but yeah, yes. I, like I, I see what right? you're saying. Well, I mean, in my experience, it usually takes like six months just to get a budget for buying toilet paper. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I mean, who knows? Maybe maybe Canada's rich. That creature starts coming up and they start complaining about smell and says the pipes may be dirty. There's some good camera work there though. It's like going back and forth and up. Right. N nice way. I this got... this episode. Mm -hmm. that I mean, class, to, right? to this day, like aged really fucking well. Like, yeah, it was still like super fucking creepy. Uh huh. Like, it was still like really fucking good. Like, even though they don't even show you like the 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 creature or the ghost or whatever, yeah, they don't show later. you until like. 
probably the last eight minutes of this thing. Yeah, and this is definitely a different episode to like the the tale of the full moon, where it was obviously supposed to be funny with that creature monster. <laughs> yeah, it was a Halloween mask. Oh yeah, no, this one was this one was yeah pretty fucking scary for for like a kid a kid show. They get out of the pool before they're grabbed. So apparently, when they were doing the maintenance, this creature was never fucking seen. By the way, when they were doing all those renovations, well, no, no one said anything about it. Hold on, you can't see it yet. Yeah, but it would have ate somebody when they went the like take the tarps out, right? He's not eating them; he's just drowning them. Okay, what that? Then, uh, like when they fill the pool up, I mean, when it be? Yeah. Well, I mean, then? who's gonna be in the who's gonna be in the pool when you're filling it up? <sighs> but the thing is. Uh, well, it's like me actually, Maniac Mansion, or the service we used to kill people. Yeah, the it, there's a there's like a generator in the pool, Maniac Mansion. Yeah. Speaking of, uh, they got no one coming out. Is there? Yeah, they're working on no one. I'm happy. I I have Day of the Tentacle on my PlayStation Four right now. Excellent. But uh, you even got Christopher into that one. Did I? Yeah. They have the tentacle. That's the that cartoony game. Maniac Mansion. I think so. Maybe. I mean, there can't be too many games with tentacles running around, right? No, I mean, it's a very original plot. I have to watch TV shows sometime. Also, I forgot that Luigi and Levy was in that. It was on Family Channel back in the early 90s. I remember the commercials, but I remember watching the show. So, so what are these? Zeke and Clarissa? Clarice. Clarice. Awesome. Okay, so their agreement, even though they might have like miniature crushes on each other and shit, is she's not good at science. He is afraid of swimming because he almost drowned as a kid. Okay, that's good enough for me. Fuck water. I was waiting to hear a story like from uh, Jason Takes Manhattan where like the alcohol would purposely push that girl in the water yeah. <laughs> to get rid of the fear or something. Yeah. Like so, so she wants to teach him how to swim, but... He already fucking knows how to swim. He just hates the water because he almost drowned. Cool. Yeah. I wouldn't fuck with it anymore. But, uh, you know, so she's just like, they're floating around in this raft. Like, oh, you know, like, just dip your hand in it. Oh, that ain't so bad. And then, um, then that's when the friend, like, grabs Clarice or whatever and, like, pulls her down, making you think that it's the... Uh, monster. The monster. And then, um, <clears throat> you know, they call it a night or whatever. But then, like, you're talking about when the friend is secretly fucking in this place, even though Clarice yeah, got the keys. Secretly un in, yeah. under the pool, like in the water <laughs> yeah, under the pool, like the whole shit. fucking time. Um, yeah, that was in our plot hole. I picked up all I have. Fuck this bitch. Get in here. Yeah, didn't uh, didn't like they like didn't the monster like hit the raft this time or was it next time? It's this time. Oh, by the way. The actress playing Charlie is named Michael Abbo, and she is in this, was it the movie, The Tuxedo, with Jackie Chan back in 2002. You guys remember that movie? Playing Charlie? The, the friend of Clarice. <clears throat> That's her name. Charlie? Yeah. But The Tuxedo with Jackie Chan. You guys oh. remember this? Oh, yeah. All right. So I, there's actually an actor in a future episode of that movie as well, which I thought was interesting. Uh, she was also in Billy Madison as the drama teacher, which is kind of funny because that's only a few years later. That that's only actually wait, that's the same fucking year. Wow. The drama teacher. Shit, wrong the guy. Weird... I oh, think of Michael. Yeah. Char Charlie's the fucking janitor. <sighs> What's my mind? I'm, conf I'm confusing middle-aged guys with teenage girls, and and this. It's I a mean, new... Ben was a little tipped off when you said Charlie. So Charlie is the janitor. Okay. Charlie is that's the janitor. He saw them no when they first walked into the decrepit place. Okay. Yes. He he was in there. So the girl, Greta, that's that's the friend's name. All right. God, her parents hated her. She was in. Uh, she she was the voice of a stormtrooper, Lego Star Wars. Oh. And she was on Big Wolf on campus. We saw that before. She was also on. She's the voice of local population. In Grand Theft Auto Five. Hitman and Satan's School for Girls. Is this a porno? What is this? Maybe. Sounds kind of porny. Yeah. She probably at least shows her tits. Can someone else get on this? She's of age right now. She, she's probably <laughs> the age where she shot this. Yeah, 1970. Uh, she's got the look. 1970. So she, actually, she would have been like uh, 17 then. 
All right, Amy Castle, uh, Mr. Skin, let's check this out. <laughs> All right, yeah, she's on here. Oh, I fucking knew it. Oh, uh, she's got Jesus oh. Christ. There's two girls that go at it. How are they? Uh, the, that oh, is... these tits right here. I, I wish I could share this fucking stuff. On. Okay. Well, you just typed in yeah, it's, it's two lesbians. Oh shit! So uh, it's got a whip. Wait, it's that's just finishes regular, gray stuff. Uh, ah, after the, oh, there's, right, so there's a breast right there. Come out her ball. What's she looking at? That's a sledgehammer. That was. Why is she looking at a sledgehammer? Oh. Oh, that's that, that one girl. That's a ma- that. yeah. That's my ass eaten. Yeah, that's the one. I Hold saw. on. This is either this one in the clips. Even, that's a... <laughs> that's, there's a con. This is just this is just promo. That's just porn. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll look like Mr. Skid. Uh, we typed in Amy Garcia, the girl who plays this part. She looks like she dyed her hair on this, but she's got two out of four stars. Beef beauty, years ready to go. Three out of four. Uh, a beautiful day. And Dexter. Which episode? Hold on. Season, season eight, episode one. Is she the I don't know. It says she, uh, Amy shows off her nice little butt while right, she's fucking Detective Quinn. How is the dark Oh, scene. okay. Yeah. And she's later in an episode of Scar Tissue. Uh, yeah, she's also apparently having anal sex with Dad Quinn. And okay, if, I know who true. it is. All right, cool. Well, she, but why didn't say in Dexter on, on, on the show credits when I checked it out? Because they'd rather say she was in fucking Tuxedo? That's just stupid. <laughs> 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 yeah, Dexter's not a credit on here. So is that the same Amy Castle? That's fucking... I don't know, man. Fucking, let's move the fuck on. Just find her on Instagram right now. Start a little message. Uh, did no. you got? Did your parents do you know Dexter? No. It's so you had a nice ass. That's that's a nice message for a girl. In the Is it? Oh, uh, Sunday afternoon, right? Well, yeah, I'm sure it'll make Saturday. somebody's day. All right. So to establish, Greta was in the fucking pool. Got in there. Who got it? Was basically found out Charlie and got the keys or something like that. She, she tipped over the ra- uh, raft. She leaves, and then the monster comes. And then real shit happens in this pool late at night when uh, Clarice is trying to teach Zeke how to swim, correct? Yes. Now, uh, is, this when, uh, is this when the raft gets tipped over and they both go in there? Yeah. Okay. So, um, so Clarice, you know, is trying to get Zeke out of the pool because he can't properly swim. Actually, wait, I, I got to die before that then. What the fuck? Because there's, they one, were in, they there's were... one line. Well, there's one thing that happens here. He, Zeke's the one that mentions bad smell. It's like, this guy just fart. Like, why the fuck are you mentioning a bad smell around a girl? Oh, that's true. Yeah. yeah. All right, so he gets pulled in first, and she's on the raft. And then it goes to commercial break. Okay. Then back for commercial break. <laughs> he says something grabbed him, trying to drown him. That's when someone bumps the float. Okay. And there's plenty of lighting up in this place. Oh, yeah. So that's when they're both in the water. Yeah. And man- they managed to escape. And it, uh, Well, Charlie saves yeah, yeah. Uh, and, Zeke. And then he tells him. Yeah, they pulls him with that rod. <laughs> yeah. He, there. It's called a shepherd's hook. That's what I think it's called? Yes. Does it say that episode or is that just your common knowledge? That's my common knowledge. It's, uh, it's it, a shepherd's hook. It really hook. is. Right. Um, they yeah, find enough going around the bay and the water and everything. I, I know very, very little about fresh fish <laughs> <laughs> Um, so then that's when like Charlie is like, you know, he, t- you have to take him in the back room to like tell him the story. Well, I like how they had like those blankets on a hot cocoa, like it's fucking rescue dive on one. Yeah, like, like he just, uh, survived like a fucking house fire. They always got those emergency blankets on. And they just pulled him out from like, yeah. a fish in a hole or something. So now this is where we, we get the backstory here. Um, they ask him what, what it is, and he says, it's back. Or maybe it never, it never left. left. He admits that he was a lifeguard when it first happened, and, and his girlfriend's brother drowned in his watch, but he tried to save him, but got pulled away. I think he said he kept the job there to look after it. This, did they say that? I think. Yeah, wh- why, my question was, why the fuck did you choose to be a janitor and not, like, I don't know, working your way up an admin and become a superintendent and stuff? Because if he's, in the ad- if, he's, if he's in the principal's office, he can't properly guard, <sighs> yeah. can't properly guard a pool. That he did a terrible job of guarding, uh-huh. seeing as kids found it. Yeah, he stays there for uh, 40 years. <laughs> All right, now, uh, she says, well, the same thing, uh, not going to happen again. Zeke says there may be a way to even things out. It says people never knew it was there because it's invisible. And the acid smell, here's a plot hole. 
someone put on IMDb trivia that if the potent acidic acid odor smell like rotten eggs as Janet described, the only acid that comes from smelling such is sulfuric acid. Yes. Which would need a stronger base than the methyl orange to dilute the pH balance of down to 7.0, which is supposed to be pure water pH. So they didn't consult a scientist before. Oh, Jesus that, Christ, so. fucking brainiac. <laughs> That's a plot hole. Holy right? fucking <laughs> shit. You got to do research, man. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, I mean, the given the mass of a body that, uh, you know, could be made entirely of acid. Jesus Christ. Really? Okay. They say uh, it, if it's acid, they'll get a nice red snapshot. And I like how he just up and jumps. <laughs> Fuck it. Throws this thing in the pool when they have an active swim team. Fuck them. This monster well, starts coming out. Well, I mean, I, I don't know about this orange, you know, component or whatever. Methyl orange, is that what it's called? It's called methyl Met- orange, yeah. Okay. So, I mean, like, to, to balance out a pool, sometimes you do put acid in the pool. Do like, well, well, you remember that South Park episode where the plot revolves around the, the piss like level that. inside the pool? Huh? What episode of that part was that when like that little girl's piss and uh, urine uh, sets off the whole whole system because they're saying like oh it's the, the one where the, it's the water park. Hey, you know that's uh, I I don't like even swimming the ocean because I know it's just the giant fucking cesspool. Dude, I well, saw a woman change her baby's diaper <laughs> in the fucking <laughs> in the fucking ocean off oh, right here, in Ocean City. Yes. Uh. Well, I remember like we had our dad wasn't a waterman, but growing up in Crisfield, we had a lot of war- waterman dads in the town. I remember one guy told us like they're not gonna pull to use the bathroom, so one of the guys just took a shit right outside the boat. Like that's where. <laughs> and of course, we were swimming that as kids all the time, mm-hmm. right? You know, I'm, I'm gonna buy a boat this spring, but I'm not, I'm not buying it unless it has a bathroom on it, and it has to be a bathroom of running water. No, that no one's wanting so it's like a you just get a, poor you, you get a bucket. You get a bucket, right? <laughs> you can go buy one of those like a buy a toilet seat. Okay. You don't even have to do that. Put the toilet seat on the bucket, right? Then when you gotta go, shit on you know, sit on the toilet seat, shit in the bucket, and then throw it off. And this is some great depression shit right here. I mean I'm not throwing it in the fucking street. <sighs> Well, you know, I, I, well, I, I filmed at a house today that had no bathrooms, <laughs> and I've been a few others like built in eighteen eighties, mm-hmm. no under plumbing at all, or or the the I, I was in one where there's a toilet under the staircase. Yeah, so, I mean that was a luxury to them. Well, shit, at Matt's Chris, house the toilet was under the yeah, stairs. Yeah, it still is. Chris, Chris's old it house. A, yeah, that, that, it was yeah, in that a was bathroom. Victorian. Yeah, it's in a bathroom, but I mean, like, uh-huh. they're, it was they're, they're like, under it's the, the half bath yeah. that's hidden uh-huh. underneath the staircase. Yeah, <laughs> they still exist. Uh, I, I got up, and, or when I came out, I asked them, like, okay, y'all, be honest. How many times have you hit your head getting up off that toilet? Mm-hmm. Because as you leaned up, you were right there at the mirror. I can't. <laughs> See yeah, how much better that sounds. She, she moves when she talks, same as me. Why don't you hand held up? Just... Because what? then she sounds like, uh, well, no, then she like looks like she's going to be singing karaoke or some Either shit. Either that or like, I'm giving a weather report. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now this monster starts to appear. I like how we just break and talk about shit and piss and toilets and stuff as this monster's You appearing. brought it up. Yeah, that's important. We, okay. Again, here at Word Afraid of Dark, we cover all details. Hey, by the way, I found some more stickers, so <laughs> if anybody wants extra stickers, uh, just send us a message on Instagram or Facebook for your address, and we'll work that out as soon as possible. I did have some international ones get returned to me, so um, for, for some reason that was an issue. But huh. we have stickers across the United States. We, uh, I think one confirmed in England, and one confirmed in Germany, uh, Australia. Yeah, some parts of Australia. We sent some to Australia. I yeah. know that. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I want to know how everybody's finding us also. So please comment and, and, and anything. It could be a review. It could be our war photos of how you found our podcast. Um, so now this monster here is fucking legit. This is probably one of the scariest monsters oh, yeah, in the this... dark. It's like sc- skeleton lewis. I want to say like it's rags like, and shit on it. Yeah, it, right? but it's like seaweed. Like yeah. it is like, it's like this decaying skin mm-hmm. skeleton, like, the the eye sockets are empty, but he has so much just 
algae or just just shit on him that this dude is like falling apart like he looks fucking scary and as soon as you hear <laughs> dead man's float that image of that monster is what you fucking like remember as a kid what's the scariest moment any of you have ever had with water or swimming I don't I don't think I've had a scary moment while swimming. Like I I can't remember one. I saw my brother almost drown. Jesus. Yeah. Are you, you happy? You happy you brought it up, Adam? <laughs> he went out a little too far. Yeah, that would do it. That's why I uh make, make, and keep in mind I live right on the ocean here. <laughs> We're in a beach condo. I always have to mention that then. I see. Yeah. He likes that. So I mean uh, it's not like we grew up in like the the so called seafood capital of the world. No. That doesn't mean we're on the bay or anything. No, we we're also on the on the ocean. Yeah, uh, we're around water all the time. We we didn't grow up in Arizona or Texas. I didn't have water there, but some parts don't, and it takes eight hours to get to it. All right. So me and Ben, and Ashley was close to water in Alabama, right? Mm -hmm. I all was right. about an hour and fifteen minutes from Panama oh. City Beach. All right. Now my general, rule, I don't go on the beach much because I burn easy. Go figure. I have a beach house. Yeah. I'm a little clear. Mm -hmm. Make sure you swim where someone can see you, okay? Don't try to be a badass because no one can see you, no one can save you. <laughs> so make sure a lifeguard can see you, and if you're in trouble, they'll rescue uh, out of a new version of Rescue 911. Thank you, Captain Adam. Yeah. yeah. Oh, hey, speaking of people drowning, uh, I messaged Squints mm -hmm. uh, and asked him. <laughs> I bet that's nice that way, bud. Yeah. I asked him if he wanted to. Uh, possibly be a guest on a podcast he read it but he never responded so we'll we'll hit him back up Just keep going you gotta keep, yeah, keep, uh, keep messaging until they say no that doesn't sound like it's gonna inspire him to say yes though. i know it doesn't mean you say you do it i'm gonna let him i'm gonna let him think about it a little bit yep. and then if he says no then fucking we'll move on and probably you know just see what happens i've messaged a couple other people but uh, I think this this season is going to be the collab season. Well, we better go on this because we're actually recording three episodes tonight, and we have always thirteen. Yes. I uh, however, I think our collab episode should be other content besides "Are You Afraid of the Dark." That's true. Like, we, we, we can do. We can do. We can even do top five villains of "Are You Afraid of the Dark" and argue about it. That's true. Because I have some non traditional ones. I think the clerks of clouds a little pussy now. By the way, I used to scare me as a kid, but yeah, I think I was just <laughs> laughing when now. And like we saw, we shared that actually saw Christopher uh, last year. I want to throw yeah. I want to throw Nana in there from uh from oh, yeah. Lost <laughs> Ghost. <laughs> now, what was it? Apartment two. Two fourteen. Yeah. yeah, I also want to mention this in this episode. They never actually discussed the origin of the monster. And I think they did it on no. purpose. Yeah, no, they, they, they want one of the mystery, and there are there always are mysteries, especially after the Jaws generation, because that was like the horror movie that really made people oh, scared of the water. Yeah, the scariest thing that happened to me, I think, was uh, at Eric's house when we were swimming. Bad, one of your friends was on my uh, shoulders and kept her knees locked while I was underwater. Jesus. Yeah, they're they're like eight years old, so they didn't know. But I managed to push stuff up. It was only a four foot four foot pole, so I yeah. could stand up at the time. Luckily. I was pretty pissed off at that. Got yeah. out of the water. Uh, the other thing that happened to me was when I was paddleboarding one day, uh, I learned if the winds are more than like nine or ten knots, don't go out because I was five paddling one way and all the way back. Just every time I paddled, I got <laughs> split yeah. aside. So I had, to, I had to pull ashore, find someone in a truck to take me to my car to get it. And I was yeah. like, well, thank you because I, yeah. I could not paddle there. And look, I didn't paddle across the creek. Yeah. But yeah, water safety. <laughs> know it yeah live it now in this in this locker room the monster starts coming up through the drain which i thought was pretty creative yeah it was and i absolutely love that because we're like okay we're, we're safe we're away from the pool and then like you start seeing that that red bubbling up i love i loved this episode like oh. I, I really hope like i mean they, that they sets the tone yeah they the really of... they mm -hmm. set the bar high oh yeah on their first episode in season five yeah we did have to shut season premiere uh earlier which i i know back in this time period the early 90s season premieres weren't as important as they are now i mean nowadays they're really important because everybody's gonna binge watch the whole fucking season anyway right i'm gonna let you know i yeah. have not looked at my camera this That's whole fine. entire fucking yeah he's time. been sharing mine over well 
Yeah. And I've been sharing yours. Yeah, we'll only do it when uh, you need to uh, break the fourth wall. <laughs> As Zach Morris. Maybe. Hear me, Chauncey? <laughs> okay, then. Let's tag him. All right. Now, Charlie goes on to say no one believed him until three more people drowned. And they closed the pool down. People forgot a little about it until now. My question would be, what school system do you know that just ups the fuck and forgets that they have property there? Because I know goddamn well they would have done what our high school did. And if something gets shut down, they're using that shit for storage. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> you have any dust and chairs they can fit in that well, pool? Well, my, my favorite was, I, I, I filmed inside my school system, by the way, for a job assignment. And there was one day I had to go to the, the room where the chorus uh, used to be in the choir. I walk in and there's like weights and all this gym equipment. I said, please tell me they didn't get rid of the arts. And they said, no, the gym's being renovated. So we have to put it here. <laughs> yeah. Are you using my shirt to clean off your glasses? Yeah. No, you speak, said speaking of mine. shirts, uh, I, I know we're not endorsed right now, but Ben, what are you wearing today? I didn't recognize that. Oh. Knockoffs. Yeah, it, it's, uh, it's select your ripoff. So it has the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It has the Street Sharks. It's got uh. Oh, shit, lost. Uh, Starbucks. That's all right. No, it's a uh, what's it? Biker mice from Mars. Uh, Toxic Avengers at the bottom. Yeah, that's definitely biker mice. Mm-hmm. Oh, but you actually asked some kind of satanic uh Toxie. Pokemon or satanic okay, child. Okay, so this is the cutest little devil I've ever seen. It says. I like my coffee like I like my magic. <laughs> Black and evil, right? <laughs> Dark. Yeah, but look at him, though. <laughs> he is so sweet. So, um, what, where did I get these? Tea Public? I think so, yeah. I think I got these from Tea Public. They've got oh, sure pretty cool stuff. Um, they, do have, they, they do have really good stuff. Like, some of the, some of the stuff, uh, they have some really fucking retro Nickelodeon shit. And like they do. I plan on I plan on buying a couple of them and, and like wearing them. But uh for T public, like I, there hasn't been like there's not like a thing where it's like, oh hey, you know, like call us out and you know we'll give you a promo code. It's more so like, oh, you have art, put the art on our page and we'll give you a percentage. Like they're more of those type of people. But you know who the fuck knows, but I like I love some of those shirts. Like oh, it, yeah. there's he was way better than. When showed me this, I was like, I need that. Yeah, it's better than. Better than rip tea. Fuck those people. Oh, so I can't mention them anymore. <laughs> yeah, no, I've talked to them. Right. Let's kill this motherfucking creature. How's oh, that? I, I, I thought you were about to say kill this uh, thick thing of liquor we have here that oh, I won't mention. <laughs> <laughs> Even though they're fucking Let's five, uh, uh, five miles down from me, if that. Okay. Oh, by the way, the guy who plays the corpse in this, that's what they call it, IMDb, was in Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Well, he would have never known because he didn't talk. She uh, goes on with the volcano recipe that he had. He pushes out of her hand and says she'll get burnt and she needs gloves. She jumps in after it. The corpse is about after she freezes in the pool. Then Zeke jumps in, getting rid of his fear of water. Swimming. Running. Yeah, mm. and it gets the corpse attention. She that pushes her ass out of there. Zeke can finally swim, and Clarice puts the gloves on. Charlie pulls them out as Clarice throws them on, and the monster is destroyed, and the pool is now contaminated. Somewhere in there, Charlie had like a heart attack. Oh, yeah, he goes to the shock. <laughs> yeah, the somewhere in there, he, Charlie had he, a heart attack. He, he came out miraculously to, to save him, though. Now, Charlie says, finally, after all these years, it's gone. Thanks to him, it says the evil spirit will never bother him again. So I guess now he moves on to his uh, plan B of maybe pension or move to Florida, playing golf. Walmart greeter. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the dude's like 70 now. He might as well. Mm -hmm. At the end here, Clarice admits that being a science geek isn't that bad, and, and she teaches Zeke that it's okay to have some fun. Tucker says... Tell me, is that the best? He was making a reference to Stig telling the story. The group makes a joke. Stig goes to eat the, or they got to make a vote. Eat. Stig goes to eat the midnight dust because it's like coffee creamer or something like that. It's, it smells like Swiss mess, maybe. And it's not anonymous. He doesn't get it. It's like, what the fuck? I mean, we've heard some shit fucking stories from these members before. And this didn't get it. Yeah. I mean, I, I completely agree. Like, okay. He tells he tells the the third one that we're gonna do tonight, and with the way that things are going, 
drink wise. Like, we, dude, we haven't even touched this twisted this uh, hoop tea. That's coming soon. Uh, I'm almost at a strawberry rhubarb. That's what. I, that's what it was. It was <laughs> strawberry rhubarb. Um, but uh, but yeah, we're gonna be <laughs> fucked up by the end of this. Um, God, it's like all, all times, right? Like every time. Oh yeah. So. <laughs> now, but, oh, go ahead. Uh, but uh, I mean, like episode three that we're doing tonight is his is his story to decide if he's going to be a member or whatever. And this story was better than that story. Yeah. So, yeah, that's all I had. All right. A few things here. Uh, they give him, yeah, they do give him another shot. He gets blindfolded again. My final thoughts, this episode had really, really good production. Good pacing, good writing, good, good story. Yeah, two plot holes in there that make sense. Um, the acting was good. It had older teens, which we admit is better. And it's still one of my favorites. Not top five, but t- top ten. What's going on back there? Nothing. All right. Any final wrap-ups? No. Yeah. It was know. a good episode. Yeah. It well, was. I remember we, we got a plug. Our Patreon. Yes. We have one person. Thank you again, RJ. Hell yeah, your, RJ. Your, your, your uh, contribution is actually covering our hosting fee right now. So... Uh, now we're just losing money on alcohol. Time it takes me to edit this. Time it takes Ben and Ashley to drive here. All the money it costs us to pick up everything he tells us to pick up on they the They got way. pissed at me because I said, bring me hoop tea. I've fucking bought it multiple times. They they stopped it. I ate so much uh, pote that Ashley brought over. They got mm-hmm. stuck in traffic, if you want to call it that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they're doing road construction on uh, on that road. What was it? 40-minute drive for you guys? Hour. How the fuck's an hour for it's you? It's an hour. How the hell is that possible? It just is. It, it is. You go 113 all the way up, uh-huh. hit 90. They don't tell people where I live. That's We're just great. You gave them way more information in than, than we did. All right. Anyway. Well, next week we have the tale of the jagged sign. Whoa. Thanks, everyone. Let's think. We'll see you next time. And it's Ben Chucks, this strawberry river. We're not saying no. What the? You're finishing that? There we go. 